Welcome to Comedy Global. Each title has its own potentials and restrictions. The party secretary is free to express polite criticism of the constitution. However, the chief minister chosen by the party is not permitted to reiterate this criticism. The chief minister is governed by the constitution rather than the party. That is why the opposition members also refer to the chief minister as our chief minister. Sajid Charyan, the individual, can criticize the constitution. However, Sajid Charyan, the minister, has no moral and legal right to do so. Nowhere in the constitution is it mentioned that no one should criticize the constitution. Many respected and highly learned representatives have pointed out the faults of certain sections of the constitution in the Indian parliament. The 42nd constitutional amendment introduced by Indira Gandhi, which was removed by the Janata government post-emergency, can be considered as an example of the fact that certain evils can become part of the constitution over time. Even clean bodies of water can become contaminated over time. It is the responsibility of the designated representatives to prevent contamination and keep the water clean. That is what the elected representatives of people do by making laws to amend the constitution. What Saji Charyan said was something that an individual who took oath as a minister in the name of the constitution should not have said. He did not make a polite criticism but insulted the constitution using derogatory terms. During his speech in Mallapalli, Saji Charyan said that a group of Indians blindly copied the British system and wrote a constitution. He also said that the constitution helped plundering the common man and working class. This claim is factually incorrect. Saji Charyan, who is also a lawyer, should know that the Indian constitution was not dictated by the British. Then it has to be assumed that Saji Charyan told a lie to deliberately mislead the people. We should also not forget that even with such a strong constitution, at least some of those who came to power here did not shy away from looting. The principled attitudes, personal integrity and others held by those who lead the country on the basis of the constitution make the goodness of the constitution shine brighter. The minister later said in the assembly that he had not insulted the constitution but had criticized the government systems and everything else was a misinterpretation. This explanation of the minister may be enough for the party to forgive him. But people are looking forward to the court's position if things move to legal proceedings. This is a state where R. Balakrishna Pillai lost his ministerial post for making the Punjab model remark, even though he did not intend to put up a fight. Anyone who listened to the words of Saji Charyan can understand that he committed a complete breach of oath. However, he attempted to hide it by saying that he had a slip of tongue and was speaking in his native style. Anyone can make a mistake. People realize that a wrong has been corrected when the wrongdoer receives the punishment for it. Anyone who has faith in the constitution and democracy will think that it is better than he submitted his resignation instead of hanging on to the ministerial post. The party's suggestion to submit a resignation also helped to avoid further crisis. An Indian citizen may appeal to the judiciary on the basis of the constitution when their fundamental rights are violated even by the state. The constitution serves as a solid base upon which the country is built. It's like setting fire to one's own home to offend the constitution while in a position of authority. By presenting his resignation, Saji Charyan probably understood the gravity of the situation. Before babbling, it would be wise for everyone to consider the importance and prestige of the positions they hold. Saji Charyan's experience ought to serve as a lesson for all public employees as well as those in position of authority. This is Anjana signing off. Do like and share this video. For further updates, subscribe to Comedy Global.